Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on solving quadratic inequalities of the form minus x squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero or less than zero. So in this case we're dealing with quadratic inequalities where the x squared term is negative. So it's minus x squared minus x squared. And you can see in these expressions we've got minus x squared, we've got minus x squared. Now there's just one additional first step that we're going to do here. And that is basically to turn it into a quadratic inequality where the x squared is not negative because then we know from previous videos how to handle those kind of questions. So I'm going to write that. So the step one is going to be move everything to the side of the inequality where the x squared term will be positive because it just makes it easier. You can do it without doing that, but it's just gonna be much harder. So, part A, we've got two x minus x squared is less than zero. Now at the moment, the x squared term is positive. I wanna move everything to the right-hand side because then this minus x squared is gonna become positive x squared. So, I'm gonna add x squared to both sides. So that's gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna add x squared here. And we also want to get rid of that 2x. So we're going to subtract 2x, so we're going to get minus 2x. And now we're going to have 0 on this side. So basically, if you move everything to the other side, each term gets negated. The 2x becomes minus 2x, and the minus x squared becomes positive x squared. And now this has just become 0. Now, just for the convenience, we're going to flip the sides because we want this on the left-hand side. So x squared minus 2x, that is greater than 0. So that's greater than zero. So I'm basically kind of reflecting it as such. And now we've got a quadratic inequality, which is in a more convenient form. What would we usually do next? Well, we would factorize it. So in this case, they both have a common factor of x. So we do x brackets x minus two is greater than zero. And then the next step is that we would sketch it. So we sketch it. Here's the x-axis. The y-axis, I'm just going to do this very quickly because we've done this many times before in previous sub-skills on the skill. Um, but we find the x-intercepts. Now, this one gives us an x-intercept of 0. And this factor here gives us an x-intercept of 2. Remember, we just negate that number, so the minus 2 becomes positive 2. And then it's going to be a smiley face shape, so we get that. And then the final step is to say, well, if we sketched we sketched y equals x brackets x minus two, then where is the y value greater than zero? Well, the y value is greater than zero in this part of the line, and the y value is greater than zero in this part of the line. Now, what can we say about the x in this region? Well, the x value is less than zero, or we're in this part of the line where the x value is greater than two. If that's not clear to you, then please look at my videos on solving quadratic inequalities previously in the skill. So that is the final answer. Now let's do b over here. So we've got 6x minus 5 minus x squared is greater or equal to 0. Now I'm going to do what we did here, but actually more quickly. Um, and there's a little trick. Now if you just times both sides of the inequality by minus one, so we're times both sides by negative one. Whenever you times or divide an inequality by a negative number, it actually changes the direction. So that greater or equal to becomes less than or equal to, and I'm gonna times this by minus one. So if I times this by minus one, the negative x squared becomes positive x squared. And we always wanna put the x squared term first, then the x term, then the constant term, the one without the x. Uh, let's do the six x next. If that's positive six x, we times it by negative one, it negates it, it becomes minus six x. And the minus five times by minus one becomes positive five, and zero times minus one is still just zero. So that's a neat little trick, which saves you having to do quite so many steps over here. We just times both sides of the inequality by minus one, and that will reverse the direction. So if that's greater or equal to, that becomes less or equal to. Now we can do what we did before. We just have to factorize this. So we just need two numbers which add to give minus 6 times to give 5. They are minus 5 and minus 1, so it's x minus 5, x minus 1. We then do, we then do a sketch. We're sketching y equals this thing here, so the x minus 5, x minus 1. And we just negate each of these values to get the x intercept. So we have 5, so 5 and 1, which is here. So we get this 
smiley face shape like that. Now we're saying the y value, if this is the y value, y is less equal to zero. Where on this line is the y value less equal to zero? Well, it's this middle bit here, isn't it? So we can see the y value is negative in this region here. What can we say about the x values in this region on this line? Well, we can see all the x values in this part of the line are between one and five. So x is between, that's how we write between, one and five. And that is the final answer. Remember, if that's less than or equal to zero, these need to be less than or equal to as well for consistency. So that's the answer to B.